So for those of you who haven't heard, California passed a law mandating big box retailers establish gender neutral toy sections. Now, Ben Shapiro is going to take issue with this. And for whatever reason, he's like apoplectic over this law. It's not really a big deal. And honestly, I feel like this is kind of already a thing in most toy sections. So the law itself might be a little bit redundant, but we'll talk about that. Either way, Ben Shapiro is big mad and he's going to explain why this law promotes chaos. This is his words. California has now mandated that every big box store in California, this kicked in in the new year, every big toy store is required to create a gender neutral toy section. Why? Why? So the answer that people will give you is, well, you know, we need a gender neutral toy section for those kids who, who are having trouble with their gender identity. Is so what you're really saying is that gender doesn't exist. Right? What you're really saying is there's no such thing as biological sex or human proclivities that are that are directed by biological sex or connected to it. Right? That human tendencies are not connected to sex. And anyway, we have to redefine sex across the biological spectrum to account for the fact that there are some people who feel uncomfortable, a vast, vast, vast minority. Hey, this is not how you make socio societal rules, right? Dis dis disassembling basic ideas of the reality of male and female. That is not the way that you promote human happiness. That is the way that you promote chaos. And the, the, once again, the left does not seem to care about the fact that male and female are pretty rigid categories biologically. And when I say pretty, I mean innately rigid categories. And that human activities within those categories tend to fall along somewhat stereotypical lines. And that that's not a bad thing. That societally speaking, that's quite a good thing. That doesn't mean that there aren't exceptions to the rule and we ought not treat those people with tolerance. We should. But that does not mean that you redefine gender entirely. And yet this is seen as a positive good. Why? Because there are exceptions. And we have to make sure that all of society is restructured in favor of this small group of people who have a problem with the societal institutions. I can't imagine. I mean, regardless of how you feel about this law, support it, dislike it, getting that worked up over this law. Is it really that necessary to be this outraged, Ben? I mean, to think that a gender-neutral toy section promotes chaos in society. I just feel like, he, I don't want to say that he's being disingenuous, but it seems insincere because it seems implausible that an, an adult would be this worked up about a law that's pretty anodyne, if you ask me. Again, if you agree with this or disagree with it, I feel like this type of law shouldn't evoke that level of emotions from someone, so it's just it's strange. So he tells you that... Um, the reason why this law is bad is because what you're saying, what you're really saying is gender doesn't exist. But that's not what the law is saying. The law is acknowledging that there are gender binaries and some children just naturally don't fall within, you know, the, the masculine or feminine categories. It's not an attempt to indoctrinate children. It's an attempt to allow kids to express themselves and feel as if they're not kind of boxed in when they select toys. I mean, look, as a kid, I mostly played with boys' toys. I had my Beast Wars, but from time to time, maybe, you know, a Polly Pocket looked pretty dope, so I wanted to check that out. And as a child, I had all of these gender stereotypes ingrained, and I actually felt like shit because I wanted to play with a Polly Pocket, which, I mean, I feel like playing with toys is supposed to bring happiness to children so we shouldn't be setting up this culture where they feel bad if they dare to deviate from the norm but according to ben shapiro quote what you're really saying is there's no such thing as biological sex or human proclivities that are directed by biological sex or connected to it okay i don't think that that's what people are saying in advocating for this law ben i don't i mean it's not like there are a lot of kids who acknowledge that they are transgender or non-binary. I mean, they show signs at a very young age, but no kid who's like two or three is explicitly thinking, I'm, I'm trans. They're just being themselves. So if you were born male, perhaps you have, you know, th this desire to play with dolls. I mean, I have a nephew who likes Frozen. He's not talking about his gender. He's very young, but he likes Frozen and that's fine. Like, I don't think that we should make him feel bad because he likes a toy and a, a product and a brand that's typically marketed towards young girls. I think that if you're a kid, you should just have fun because you're only a kid once. 
and why, you know, make kids feel bad. But moving on to the law and moving past Ben Shapiro's outrage, the law itself to me seems a little bit redundant, if I'm being honest, because if you go to any big box retailer, they already kind of have sections that are gender neutral. I mean, certainly they have these sections that are very clearly tailored towards young boys and young girls, but then they have sections like the educational section. There's usually like puzzles. They have sections where there's not necessarily a specific gender that they're marketed towards already. So it seems like this law, I mean, the energy for this law perhaps could have been directed towards anti-bullying and more healthcare resources for trans kids, uh, something like that. But either way, let, let's get to the rationale behind the actual law that Ben Shapiro is angry about. Jonathan Edwards of the Washington Post explains, a 10-year-old girl was shopping with her mother one day when she asked a question, why were some toys off limits to her as a girl, but would be okay to play with if she were a boy? The girl was the daughter of a staffer who worked for a California lawmaker. This year, Assemblyman Evan Lowe cited the girl's question as an inspiration for a bill he wrote that will force some retailers to create gender-neutral children's sections in their stores. California Governor Gavin Newsom on Saturday signed Lowe's legislation, Assembly Bill 1084, which will force large retailers to have non-gendered toy sections starting in 2024. Proponents said the requirement will help consumers comparison shop and also tamp down on gender stereotypes that hurt children who play with toys marketed to a different gender. Detractors said the law infringes on business owners' freedom to market their products and lay out their stores as they see fit. The new law introduced by Democratic lawmakers Lowe and Christina Garcia won't prohibit stores from having having traditional boys and girls sections, but will require them to have a reasonable selection of toys and items in a gender neutral section, regardless of whether they have been traditionally marketed for either boys or girls. The requirement will apply to retailers with 500 or more employees in California. Those failing to meet it starting on January 1st of 2024 will face a $250 fine for a first offense and $500 fine for any after that. So, I mean, this seems like their heart was in the right place. It's a step in the right direction. I think being more inclusive, uh, that's a good thing. It's just, it's not as big of a deal as Ben Shapiro is making it out to be. Now, you know, the inspiration for this law, that 10 year old girl who was shopping with her mother, um, I think that it's more important to teach children that it's okay if they want to deviate from the norm. And if you're a little boy, it's fine if you play with girl toys. If you're a girl, it's fine if you play with boys toys. I think that teaching them that is also really important because there's no there's no innate thing in us as children that makes us want to play with uh, action figures and uh, be drawn to the color blue if we're born with penises. That's just not the case, uh, you know, and the opposite is true for girls. So I think that kind of getting out of this is healthy for society. It will make for healthier children if they don't feel as if, you know, they have to um, force themselves to play with a specific set of toys so that way they appease other people. I think that that's really harmful. I feel like as a parent, Ben Shapiro should acknowledge this, but either way, he's outraged about this. And I feel like he's just trying to feed into the culture war when in actuality, this law is not really that big of a deal. Again, I feel like you can do other things that are probably more pressing to actually help trans children, which they should do. I mean, California probably already has a lot more resources, but one of the biggest issues facing trans people is lack of access to healthcare. We need a single payer healthcare system in the United States, but we don't have that. So there's a lot of issues in the United States that are really, really uh, worthy of Democratic Party lawmakers' time. So this seems like something that's like an easy win for them. But either way, it's not that big of a deal. They could do more and they should do more to help trans children and trans youth. Um, but either way, does this law warrant the outrage that uh, it got from Ben Shapiro? No, but of course, it's anything that is affirming of trans and non-binary identity. So of course, they're going to hate it just by default because they don't like trans people, contrary to what They'll say their actions indicate that they think that they are less than cis people. And I say this because they support politicians who introduce legislation that discriminate against people who are not cisgender. So, you know, either way, it's not a big deal. But of course, Ben Shapiro is going to melt down. And I think it's time that we acknowledge that the true snowflakes in the United States are right wingers. Always have been. Wet, 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 wet,